another day. Time to get going. Let's sleep when we can play. Morning, Sunday. Morning, Rob. Gotta get ready to enjoy the view. Looking kind of cool. Looking kind of new. There are things we should be trying. Me and you. A new day's here and fun is overdue. Getting even cooler, step into a new beat. Got a tingling inside me and it's spreading to my feet. McDonald land is changing. Everything is rearranging. I can't sit still because it's a beautiful day. And Ronald McDonald's got something to say. It's me! Oh, sorry, Ronald. Hey, you're gonna give yourself nightmares watching that stuff. Well, I can't stop now. The dinosaurs are eating their way through Central Park. Is that Attack of the Dinosaurs? Why didn't you tell me I love that movie? If you hadn't sat on that dinosaur egg, you would be in this mess. I did it for science! Yeah, nice work, Doctor. Now your science project has us. I'm gonna have to switch to sugar-free dog food. Oh, hey, someone's calling on the picture full. I'll get it! I'll get it! Hi, Ronald. Oh, hi, Tika. What's up? Well, it's a really nice day, and winter's right around the corner. So I was wondering if you and the gang might want to go camping together out in Farflung Forest. Great idea. Fresh air, campfires, and I can try out my new tent and a flashlight invention. So you're up for it? Oh, sure, Tika. I'm going to go check out my breezeometer. Weather's perfect for a camp out. Hold on a minute, Ronald. Camping in the woods? Are you sure? Sunday, don't tell me you're afraid of giant dinosaurs. No, no, it's, uh, ticks. I don't like ticks and fleas. Oh, Sunday. Call the gang and have them meet us at the car in five minutes. Thanks, Ronald. This is going to be a trip we'll never forget. I don't like the sound of that. Hey, Grimace, what's up? Ronald, I can't watch any more TV. No, it's scary. Now, every channel I turn to is movies with vampires and monsters and baby dogs. Well, why don't you join me and the gang? We're going camping. Camping? In the woods? What other kind of camping is there? Uh, I don't know, Ronald. What kind? <sighs> Ronald? Are you still there? Oh, uh, there's the other line, Grimace. Meet us at the car as soon as you can. Hey, Sunday, can you find that new flashlight we were working on? Okay, Ronald. Another day in McDonald land. Ronald McDonald! <laughs> you will never believe it! What, Birdie? Aliens, Ronald! Aliens! I'm certain a spaceship came down and took away my bird bath. It was oh, here oh. one minute and gone the next. Oh, sounds like someone's been watching some scary movies lately. Hey, we're going camping in the far-flung forest. Want to go? Sounds fun. So long as you don't beam me up to any spaceship. Actually, I thought we'd take the car. Meet us there in five minutes, okay? Okay, Sunday. Let's see how that new tent and a flashlight invention works. I don't suppose you'd consider checking me into a kennel instead? Oh, come on, Sunday. I got a new pup tent for you in the car. Far flung, here we come!
man, you gotta get some stairs. That used to be fun. <laughs> Sprain an axle. Just what we need. Dual airbags and an attitude problem. I hope you least. But I've always been too afraid. Uh, afraid? What? Who? Oh, it's probably nothing. It's just, well, I've heard stories. About what? No, don't tell me. The far flung phantom. A ghost that walks the night and preys on unsuspecting campers. Now, this is my kind of story. The way I hear it, the phantom lives in some spooky old house. <laughs> and whenever campers get near it, they get swept away by floods. <gasps> Sounds perfectly awful! Uh, what she said. And they get lost. Forever. <laughs> it's okay, Grimace. I've been camping in far-flung forests for years. <laughs> I haven't seen any phantom. That's because nobody's ever seen the phantom. And lived. Let's go home, Ronald. What's the matter? Scared? Don't worry, Grimace. Their story's made up for the campfire. What we need for the car is a good driving song. There's nothing like the great outdoors and the far-flung forest is the best, of course. If you want to get close to the greenery, then camping in the wild is the place to be. There's and squirrels. And fish. And frogs. Caves and rocks. And lots of bugs. Hey, Ronald, are we there yet? No. There's nothing like the great outdoors and the far-flung forest is the best, of course. If you want to get close to the greenery, then camping in the wild is the place to be. There's flowers. And squirrels. And fish. And frogs. Caves and rocks. And lots of bugs. Hey, Ronald, are we there yet? No. There's nothing like the great outdoors and the far flung forest is the best, of course. If you want to get close to the greenery, then camping in the wild is the place to be. There's flowers. And squirrels. And fish. And frogs. Caves and rocks. And lots of logs. Looking for a bird. Laying in the trees. Uh, I hope a bear doesn't come for me. So, Ronald, are we there yet? No! There's nothing like the great outdoors and the far-flung forest is the best, of course. If you want to get close to the greenery, then camping in the wild is the place to be. There's flowers and squirrels and fish and frogs, caves and rocks and lots of logs. There's flowers and squirrels and fish and frogs and caves and rocks and lots of logs. So, Ronald, are we there yet? Okay, everybody, find a buddy. Sunday's with me. Tika, you dropped something. Oh, yes, well, I brought this walkie-talkie in case we split up. We could stay in touch, but, oh, darn it, where's that other one? Oh, that's weird. Uh, we thought you might need an extra body, Grimace. Oh, sure. Hop in! <laughs> squirrel! Come on, Sunday. It's just a squirrel. Right, 
Ronald. It's just a squirrel. A very nice squirrel. Hey, Ronald. I think we're going the wrong way. You sure? Yeah, we should be heading toward those rocks if we want to find the trail. For a first-time camper, you know how to find your way around. I do know one thing. You're off the trail. <gasps> <laughs> okay, everybody. Let's rest. We've got another three hours till we make camp. <sighs> You've got to be kidding. Three more hours, my poor delicate arches. Isn't there an easier way? Hey, why don't you whip up something magical, Ronald, and we can get there in no time, eh? Come on, Hamburglar, you need the exercise. A little work now, and we'll have a little magic fun later. There must be some way of getting him to use his magic. <laughs> This is cruelty to animals. Yeah, once you're back on your feet, you'll be fine. You'll see. I don't see what everybody's complaining about. Haven't they ever been hiking before? Is there any more ice for my soda? Nope, sorry, all out. These conditions are barbaric! <laughs> now let's see if this quizzical bear call really works. <laughs> <laughs> Phantoms and giant squirrels. My kind of camping trip. Whatever it is, it sounds bad. Everybody's gonna be so scared if this thing works. Oh, it works all right. Oh. Oh, <laughs> At least it's not the phantom. Bear. Bear. Funny how a good bear chase can give you an energy boost. Less talking, more running! <laughs> people, people, there is a lot of groundwork to cover, so let's get cracking. Pitching tents and gathering wood. Time to work the time for food. Time to set, 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 set up camp. Come on now, let's all get cracking. Later on, there's time for snacking. Time to set, 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 set up camp. Let's go, let's go. We're running from a bear. Let's go, let's go. No time to fix our hair. Let's go, let's go. Don't be slow. Show the experts what you know. Time to work so we can play. Have a pleasant holiday. Time to set, 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 set up camp. Everybody do their best. So we all have time to rest. Time to set, 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 set up camp. Let's go, let's go. It might come as a surprise to you all, but even though I grew up in a tree, this is the first time I've ever been camping. Usually when I travel, it's to a beautiful four-star resort. Last year it was Paris, the Palais de Rumorgue, the Haunted Palace. The Haunted? Ha! That's nothing. The far flung <gasps> Phantom is way more scary. Why don't we take a walk Sunday? But Hamburglar is just about to scare everybody. Yeah, and give you nightmares. Be right back, everybody.
Uh, what about the Phantom Hamburglar? Weren't you listening to Teacup? Uh, not really. I was too afraid. Well, do you really want to know? Uh, no. Hamburglar, don't you know it is not polite to terrify people? And your point is? <gasps> hey, what's that? Some kind of old house. Old is an understatement. No, wait, there's a light. I don't like the looks of that light. And so, for a hundred years, if you listen closely, when the moon is full and the autumn leaves are fallen, you can hear the forest whisper. The far-flung phantom's gonna get you if you don't watch out! <laughs> oh, now look what you've done, Hamburglar! Grimace! Grimace! It's okay. Hamburglar was just trying to scare us. There is no such thing as a far-flung phantom. Uh, are you sure? Positively. <laughs> <laughs> I need your help. Uh, if you need help shaking in your boots, uh, I've got you covered. When that thing swings back, grab it. One, two, three. Whoa! <laughs> oh, hamburger! Why, hamburger, you little! You should have seen your faces. <laughs> you were so scared. Come on, Hamburglar. Bertie, relax. Hey, where's Tika and the Nuggets? That's weird. The weather's supposed to be nice all weekend. Sounds like a big weather front moving in. I'm sure it's just heat lightning. I'm just gonna take a wild guess here that it's not heat lightning. There goes the fire! Ah, I believe this would be as good a time as any to unpack the rain gear. But we didn't bring rain gear because it wasn't supposed to rain. We did. Be prepared. That's the McNugget motto. Uh, be afraid. That's the Grimace motto. Hold on. Let me try something. As long as it doesn't get you windy! <gasps> Sunday and I saw a house just over that ridge. Grab what you need for the night and let's get inside. Come on, you guys. Besides, it looks like there are lights on. Hang on, I'll go first. What kind of place can this be? Who could live in here? What family? It's wild and scary. The walls are hairy. Uh, it smells all musty and everything is dusty. Shut 
Watch out! We're not alone! This place is creepy, but you must admit yeah. it won't do better on a night like this. What kind of place can this be? Hmm. Who could live in here? What family? It's warm in here. The floors are creaky. You must admit, outside it's really leaky. It's really too bad, cause something sure feels sneaky. I wish I could go home. Cause there we're not alone. This place is creepy, but you gotta admit, we've got no choice on a night like this. No, we've got no choice on a night like this. Interesting. No. Cool. What are you scared of? A phantom armchair? It's not a chair. It's a hologram. No, Ronald, I feel like a phantom is behind every door. Somebody's behind us, but I don't think it's a phantom. Only one way to find out. We get tough and we get going. Let's see where those doors go. I guess we'll never find out. Look, no knobs. Never push and never pull. You're finished when your plate is full. Exercise your force of will. You proceed by standing still. Never push and never pull. You're finished when your plate is full. Wow, that's crazy. You're finished when your plate is empty and you always start with a salad fork. I don't know what's wrong with you, Freddy Cat. I've been opening doors all my life. Come on, guys. <laughs> Everybody stop. Fry kids? What happened? Fry kids! Fry kids! Oh, where'd they go? Fry kids, are you okay? okay? You're finished when your plate is full? What does it mean? It's a riddle. Maybe it'll get us out of here. Hey, look, a clue. You're finished when your plate is full. Everybody, on the plate. Okay, now what? You proceed by standing still. I get it. That's what it means by force of will. Now be still. It's working, Ronald. That must be the door. Great. Now who's going to be the one to try it? I'll go first. Everybody behind me. Come on, you guys. Uh, uh hey, uh, let's check out some of these doors. Uh -huh. Here's a phone. Let's call for help. Kind of big for a phone booth. <gasps> yeah, but not for long. <gasps> we'll be crushed. More careful. Hey, this library looks normal. Come on! Isn't there always some kind of catch somewhere? Oh, look! A lever! Hey, I'm Bergworm. <laughs> Don't touch anything until we find the clue. It'll tell us how to get to the next level. Is there a clue that says, go home? Um, uh, maybe if I put the bookcase back? <gasps> <gasps> Which part of Don't Touch Anything didn't you understand? What's this? We're in 
in a maze. A hall of mirrors. Just look for a clue. Uh, I think I found that clue you were looking for. What does it say? It's not hard to understand. Find the door with your left hand. No mention of a left paw, is there? I don't care what it says. I don't understand it. It's not hard to understand. My uncle has one of those big hedge mazes, and there's a trick to getting out. Let me guess. Hedge clippers? You just start walking with your left hand touching the wall to your left. What does that do? Well, you might have to walk through the whole maze, but if you don't ever lift your hand from the wall, eventually you'll find your way out. This house can't be that big. Let's give it a try. How do we know what to do? We're lost almost, but we've got a clue. What kind of plot have we fallen into? Uh, where do we go? What do we do? If we hold hands and follow the clue, we'll soon find our way through. Uh, what's that? Christmas, it was you! This place is so creepy. If we stick together, we can make it through this. Let's stick together, we'll make it through this. Solve the riddle. Hmm, that's what we must do. We're in a maze. We must follow the clue. Hold your hand to the left. What about my paw? And you'll see we're almost home. What's that that I just saw? This place is so creepy, you must admit. If we stick together, we can make it through this. Let's stick together, we'll make it. could get farther than I ever could. <laughs> At least somebody's enjoying this. Oh, we well, are getting no place fast. These walls keep moving. How are we going to get to that door? Uh, uh, I think I know how. Really? You figured it out? We can stop the walls from moving if we all just spread out in a circle. Hey, it's worth a try. I think I'll just stay here in the middle, just in case. I think it's working! This is so exciting! This is, this is the farthest I've ever got! What? Almost there! Where'd the room go? Good question. You were the first ones who have beaten all of my little games. No one else has made it this far, but your journey is not yet over. Okay, pal, what's going on? I am Franklin, and this is my game, and you are intruders. This is like some kind of big cheese ball computer game, isn't it? You have seen that ignoring the clues or trying to use brute strength have no effect on the game. Then how can we beat you, Franklin? You can beat me by pitting your brains against mine. Well, that does it. Game over. Easy, Sunday. I assume we get something for beating you. You get the victory. Oh, and you get your friends back. See, Grimace? I told you they were all right. Who is up to the challenge? Very well, Tika. I'll start off with an easy one. What is it that the more you take away from it, the bigger it gets? I know. No helping. I need an answer. Oh, I know a restaurant. The more you take out. Way too complicated and wrong. The answer is a hole. Franklin! Oh, man. I read that one on the bottom of a gum wrapper. <laughs> Hamburglar, why don't you go next? I'm in no rush. Oh, but I am. I'll even let Birdie help you on this. Come on, Hamburglar. We have gotten this far together. Okay, we're ready. What is it you can feel outside, hear inside, but only see when it's full of dust? Feel outside and hear inside. 
And never see it unless it's dusty. Time is running out. Time. What's the answer? Morph balls? A dust mop? Very good answers, but wrong. The answer is the wind. Oh, no! uh, let me go next. I don't want to be left alone. Wait, I think the answers are also the traps. Oh, huh, that's comforting. Okay, Franklin, it's my turn. Fine, here's a tough one. What costs nothing but is worth everything? Weighs nothing but lasts a lifetime. That one person can't own, but two people can share. That is a tough one. Oh! Hmm. Cost nothing, but is worth everything. Ten seconds! Weighs nothing, but lasts a lifetime? Five seconds! That one person can't own, but two can share? Time's up! Oh, Ronald, please, please, please don't leave me! That's it! I know the answer! Say it now, or say goodbye! The answer is... Friendship! No! Lucky guess! It was no guess. Grimace helped me with it. No fun, no fun! You weren't supposed to know the answer. Give me a minute while I think of what to do. What now? Let's look around. Franklin's too busy to watch us. It's too dark for him to watch us. Ronald, I want to tell you something. I'm not scared, because you're here. Thanks, Grimace. <gasps> what is it, Sunday? It's a wire that leads to a TV camera. Well, how does that help us? If we follow the wire, eventually it'll lead us to Franklin. Let's go, Sunday. That was too easy. Maybe if I ask him some differential calculus. You're just mad because somebody beat you. They haven't beaten me yet. Anyway, you've never made it past the second level. And these nuggets? Pathetic. Without these pathetic nuggets, you never would have been able to lure Ronald here in the first place. I don't know about never. Hey, I'm making a point. I have to figure out what to do with Ronald next. How about saying two words? That's impossible. How don't you... I mean, there's no way. Nobody gets into my lab. Nobody. Do you understand? Two words. Okay, okay. What are they? Nice hairdo. You win. Rats. Okay, okay, you win. If I didn't hear it myself, I wouldn't believe it. Dad? You are coming with me, young man. I knew I had to leave the lecture early when I saw the lightning on the mountain. <laughs> I don't know how many times I've told my son not to reprogram the virtual reality projectors. So you're the famous Dr. Quizzical. Dad's a super genius. I'm gonna be like him someday. He can do just about anything. You're going to have to stop scaring people. I only use my work to help people. And now I'd like to help you. Can I take you and your friends back to the campsite so you can finally do what you set out to do? Yeah, spend time together, camping. Oh. Sorry I tricked you, Ronald. But I really wanted you to play the game. And I couldn't think of any other way. You still want to be my friend? Sure. You still want to go camping? Sure! Anybody else? Yeah! I'd like to go, too. Isn't there something you want to say first? Please? This kid is not to be believed. Young man, you should apologize for scaring everybody tonight. But I like being scary. Franklin? Okay, okay. I'm sorry. Now, can we go camping? If it's okay with your dad. Then it's decided. I'll just give you all a ride back to camp. Hey, we made a new friend. <laughs> a new friend with tricks up his sleeve. A new friend that makes hamburgers seem absolutely sweet by comparison. A new friend that I'd rather have on my side. Here I come! <laughs> 
Ronald. Promise me that one of these days you'll work on the landings. That's a promise. Are you sure you want to watch this before bedtime? No problem. I'm having fun. This has got to be the greatest sequel ever made. Let me get this straight. This is the same baby dinosaur that the scientist hatched in the first movie? Right, but now he's a full-grown teenager with an appetite for destruction. You know, we could always change the channel. Thanks, but I'm okay, Ronald. With a friend like you, I'm not afraid of anything. This is your very own clown, Ronald McDonald. Hoping I'll see you next time, live and in person at McDonald's. Coming in 1999, an all-new video adventure. Ronald and his friends set sail in search of a hidden treasure on a mystical island. The secret home of all grimaces. Don't miss The Legend of Grimace Island, available only at McDonald's. Last Kinda cool, 
looking kind of new. There are things we should be trying, me and you. A new day's here and fun is overdue. It's getting even cooler, stepping to a new beat. Got a tingling inside me and it's spreading to my feet. McDonald land is changing. Everything is rearranging. I can't sit still, cause it's a beautiful day. And Ronald McDonald's got something to say. Now good morning in McDonald land. Let's see what's happening first. So let me get this straight. You carve a teensy weeny ship, cut it up, and glue it back together inside a little bottle? That's the idea. Isn't it neat? Neat? Ronald, this is a very unusual hobby. Now, if I could only get this last piece to stay... Ooh. Oh! Don't get up. I'll get it. Oh, thanks, Sunday. Oh. Hang on, hang on. Ronald McDonald, resident Sunday speaking. Uh, hi, Sunday. Is Ronald there? Well, he's kind of busy with a ship in a bottle. Hmm. Ah. Ronald, yeah. Chris is calling. <laughs> hey, hi, Grimace. Hi, Grimace. <laughs> Guess what I just got? A new shower cap? <laughs> a sock puppet? Uh, no, not that either. A baby duck? No. I give up. What'd you get? A letter. Oh, that's great, Grimace. What's it say? Uh, I don't know. I, I haven't opened it yet. Uh, I've just been looking at it. See? That's great. Don't you want to know what it says? Sure I do. Uh, hurry, Grimace. I'm on pins and needles. Dear Grimace, we need your help. You're our only uh -huh. hope. Save us, please. There's a treasure if you do. Signed, all the Grimaces of Grimace Island. Hmm. Grimace Island? Yeah, it's the original home of all the world's Grimaces. Uh, huh? A great big island that's been lost for hundreds of years. Lost Grimaces, why am I not surprised? And now they need my help. Uh, I don't know, this sounds way too scary. Don't be frightened, Grimace. We'll all go. We'll make an adventure out of it. Gee, Ronald, you do that for me? What are friends for? I don't know. <laughs> what, what? Look, meet us at the McDonaldland dock in five minutes. I didn't know it was piano practice time. That sounds great, Bertie. You can hardly tell it's Mozart. Practice over. Hey, Hamburglar. Hi, Ronald. Hiya, Sunday. What's up? You guys, Grimace needs our help. He just got a letter asking him to save an island full of Grimaces with a treasure on it. Treasure? Island? Well? This could be big. Terrific. Go get our new friend Franklin and meet us at the McDonaldland docks in five minutes. I'll bring the ship. Bring us island. Here we come. Do you think we could ever just have a normal adventure? Hmm? Hello, the little dog has a question. <laughs> on these landings, Ronald. Sorry about that, pal. I'll get it right next time. But now, one ship. Just add water. Well, First Officer Sunday, have you ever in your day seen a finer ship than all the seas? Stunning. Did I mention that I get seasick? Oh, hey. oh man, it's heavy you have in these party. Rocks? Among other things, one must never set out on a treasure expedition without the proper necessity. Whoa! Oh, no! Sorry about that, Grimace. Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> it was just my head. And my collection of expensive French perfume. I do wish you'd be more careful, Grimace. 
Sorry, buddy. So, Grimace, you sure there's a treasure on Grimace Island? Yeah, the letter said so. I bet it's a great big treasure. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, just wait till the captain hears this. Our treasure. Oh. 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 Treasure? Treasure? Who said treasure? You did. Over there. You said Ark Treasure. Treasure. I know what I said. I was just talking pirate talk. Pirate? You're a real life pirate? We want to be, be a pirate. We, we want to be, be a pirate. Shh, please. please. All right, then. Listen here, McNuggets. First, we have to talk to one eyed Sally and see if she thinks you land lovers are fit for sailing. Yippee! He called us land lovers! Ooh, I like the sound of that. I feel salty already. Are you excited, Grimace? I think so. Have you ever been to Grimace Island before? Uh, yeah, yeah, no. No, but you do know where it is, don't you? Uh, uh, not exactly. You're a Grimace. Shouldn't every Grimace know where Grimace Island is? That would be way too logical. Well, according to the Grimace legend, no one else in the whole world knows. What legend, Grimace? Well, you see, once upon a time, Bunches and bunches of oodles of years ago, there was Grimace Island. Uh, it was a happy place. A place where no one fought nor uh, yelled or invited yellow ducks to come dance with them at the Grimace Festival. Well, one day, people came to the island and were mean to the friendly Grimaces. Uh, uh, they heard about the Grimace treasure and knew that Grimaces were not very brave. You don't say. And, uh, yeah. So the mean people took the treasure away from the Grimaces uh, and never came back or said thank you. <gasps> That's horrible, Grimace. I know. You should always say thank you. Then what happened? Well, you see, the mean people didn't get all the Grimace treasure. Uh, and the Grimaces were afraid they'd come back. So they did a big grimace dance and made the whole island shake so hard it broke from the ocean floor uh, and drifted far, far away. Wow. So they figured if no one could find them, then no one could hurt them. Or steal their last treasure. That's why nobody has seen them since. Can you imagine how much treasure they must have on that island right now? Arr, no, how much? Tons, bunches, lots! This is the chance I've been waiting for. We're a bunch of pirates. We're, We're a, a bunch, bunch of pirates. pirates. We're Everything's a bunch of pirates. Arr, lucky thing they got that letter from Grimace Island, hey, Captain? Bladder, you ding-dong. I wrote that letter. I knew that Grimace and his friends would sail to save the Grimaces and lead us right to the legendary Grimace Island. <laughs> Imagine a whole island full of Grimaces. Yeah, a whole island full of me's. But how are we going to find it? Uh, I don't know. Think hard, Grimace. Sorry, everybody. Uh, I don't know where Grimace Island is. I guess I'm not a very good Grimace, am I? Maybe we should go home now, Captain Ronald. Poor Grimace. Hey, what's that in your pocket, Grimace? Oh, nothing. Oh, that's just a magic map my great-great-grandmother Winky Grimace gave me. A magic map? Why didn't you say something? Let's see. Hmm. This way to Grimace Island and the treasure. Let's set our course. Allow me, Ronald. After all, it's the least I can do for all of your help with my baggage. Hold on. What do you know about reading maps? Hamburglar. We birds have an unswerving sense of direction. How do you think we migrate every year? But you don't migrate, Birdie. Details, Franklin. Details. Okay, everybody. Man your stations. <laughs> All right, let's see. Mm -hmm. Captain Ronald, we go south. Aye, aye, first mate, Bertie. South it is. Sailing, 
Goes out to sail the sea. Now, I don't know, but it worries me. We've never tried this thing before. That's just what adventure's for. Setting south to sail the sea. How exciting it will be. Wind and sky and majesty. Setting south to sail the sea. A fasty mateys, man your post. Keep an eye out for those coasts. Grimmis Island by nightfall. Let's hope they're ready for us all. Setting south to sail the sea. How exciting it will be. Wind and sky and majesty. Setting south to sail the sea. It's hidden treasure that we see. But I'm too scared to take a peek. We'll get there at any cost. Just try not to get us lost. Setting south to sail the sea. How exciting it will be. Wind and sky and majesty. Setting south to sail the sea. Hamburglar? They're biting everything but the hook. Okay, hold on. I think I got a hook. Hang on, Hamburglar. I got you. What in the world have you caught, Hamburglar? The question is, what's caught us? A whale! A whale of a whale! Uh, uh, Mr. Whale, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Ronald McDonald. This is all a big, big misunderstanding. Thanks for the push. Uh, I don't think I like this anymore, Ronald. Uh, maybe we should go home. Oh, Grimace, you're going to let one hot-tempered fish ruin your treasure trap? Bertie's right. We have a job to do. The Grimaces need your help. Oh, boy. Quiet! Look at that. Have you ever seen anything so beautiful? Go, go, Ronald, you're the most. 
the coolest cat, Oceanside. Go, go, ride! You'll take a ride! Thanks to you, this ride is smooth. Hey, surfing's boss! But I'm in the groove! Bang, bang, get this ride that way! Go, go, ride! Oh, you're the boss! The coolest cat, hey, Oceanside. Go, go, ride! Go, take a ride! Look out, Remus! Here she comes! Serpent's fun! Bang, bang, get loose right, right that way! Go, go, wild! Oh, you're, you're the most! I'm the coolest cat! Oceanside! Go, go, wild! Go, go, take that ride! <laughs> it's all wind and rain and waves, and some guy surfing on a grimace. Surfing a grimace? Oh, oh, oh. We hit something. Hello down there. Anybody home? You let him find us, Ian. Oh, 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 shake him loose. Man your stations! According to the map, we're almost there. <gasps> oh boy! Uh, steady as she goes! Like we have a lot of choice. I can't look, I can't look! You miss a lot that way, don't you? One second, Sunday. This is the tricky part. Oh, okay, okay. What is it? Octopus! <laughs> no, that's no octopus. It's a crack in the biggest sea monster in the world. <laughs> if I can't see it, it can't see me. If I can't see it, it can't see me. You want to play tentacle, do you? Thanks, Ronald. Quick, everybody! Let's get out of here while it's busy with that knot. All I know is this treasure better be good. Something even uglier than blather. Dive! Auga! 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 Okay, sport, you wanna play? Arm torpedo tubes one and two! Arr, sorry, Captain. We can't do that. Can't? Can't? Why can't we? Well, you see, I, uh, I forgot to pack the torpedoes! You forgot to pack the torpedoes. Imagine that. Fire torpedo two one. And I come back in now. We seem to be picking up steam. Maybe we're caught in another current. I think Franklin's right. We're in another current. Maybe it's this squiggly thing on the map. Squiggly thing? That's no squiggly thing. It's a jumongous wall pole. Whirlpool 
orgasm. Drain. Uh, looks like it's time for a swim. Hey, here, everybody, put these on. Okay, everybody, hold hands, and when I give the signal, we'll all jump together. Meow. No, not yet. Now. No. Now. My guess is that we're under Grimace Island. How do you know? Look! Does anyone else hear those drums? Uh, I thought it was my knees. Psst, Ronald, over there. Hello? Anybody home? Uh, I'm Ronald McDonald, and, uh, duh, these are my friends. It's your island. Do Who's something! <laughs> Again, I'd hate to be seen as a party pooper. You have broken ancient Grimace Tapo. No one is allowed to visit uh, Grimace Island. Uh, you have come, and now others may follow. Now a treasure can never be uh, uh, safe. But we won't do you any harm, your high grimaceness. Besides, Grimace's letter told him to come. Ah, uh, letter? Uh, see? It's got a pretty stamp and uh, envelope. Ah, uh, I didn't write this. No Grimace wrote this. But why would someone send Grimace a fake letter? Ah! I'll give you three guesses. Then I'm sorry. Treasure, treasure, treasure. Arr! Treasure! I wrote that letter knowing that silly Grimace would lead me right to you silly Grimaces and your legendary treasure. Now hand it over or else! Of all the nerve! Duh! You can't have that treasure! It's not yours! Wanna bet? <laughs> no! Now listen here, King Gunga. That's your name, isn't it? I'll give you the count of three to tell me where that treasure is. Duh, okay. Duh, just follow the trail and you'll find the cave where the treasure is, uh, kept. Duh, please, we don't want any problems. Just leave us in peace. I'll leave you in peace. A piece of my cannons. Open fire! I said, open fire! Are you having fun anymore? Nah, are you? Sure, I stopped having fun a while ago. Let's quit. 
See, See you, Sally. Sally. All right, all right. All right. Hey, hey, Ronald, can, can we play, play with, with you guys? guys? Sure. Thanks for the ride. Traitors, all of you. Rather, fire the pig. <laughs> oh, no. Incoming mackerels. Jump out. Scary. Okay, everyone, stay calm. It's only two of them against all of us. You were saying? Well, that should hold him half wit. Let's get that Grimace treasure. Uh, oh, no. This is all my fault. Uh, I should have known that letter was a fake. Come on, Grimace. You were tricked. It could have happened to anyone. Yeah, but now the last of the Grimace treasure will be taken, all because of me. Then, Grimace, maybe you owe it to the other Grimaces to stand up to those pirates and stop them from taking that treasure. Uh, oh, but I'm afraid to fight, Ronald. But what if you don't have to fight? You could tickle <laughs> instead. Ronald, we're talking pirates here. I know, but when I tickled Grimace out there in the ocean, he was practically helpless. Uh, I'm kind of afraid to get that close to them. I'm a coward, remember? But you're not, Grimace. Look at everything you've gone through today. Why, you're the bravest coward we know. Uh, I am? Sure you are. In fact, you're the perfect coward to stop those pirates from running away with the Grimace treasure. <sighs> uh, you're right. Uh, I'll do it. No matter what happens, no one will say that this Grimace is uh, afraid. Uh, thank you, your Grimishness. Way to go, Grimace! Grimace, Grimace, he's our man! If he can't do it, no one can! Wonders never cease. <laughs> ah, ah, the cave! Faster! The treasure must be in there! Looks like treasure to me. Well, open it. I've waited years for this moment. I can't wait another minute. Arr. Remind me to check references next time I'm hiring. Move out of my way. Not so fast, you one-eyed pirate lady. What? Take care of him, Blather. Arr. Come any closer and I tickle. That treasure belongs to Grimace Island. Correction, my large purple friend. It belongs to me. Now drop the feather and put your hands in the air. For the record, I'm not having fun anymore. So, you thought you could tickle the treasure away from old one-eyed Sally, did you? <laughs> it was Grimace's idea, not mine. <laughs> I just came along for the ride. <laughs> Stop! Uh, please don't tickle torture my friends. If you want to pick on someone, uh, pick on me. Okay. <laughs> Stop! No, I was just being brave. I didn't really mean it. Stop, stop, stop. No! What was that? Our captain, they've got us surrounded! I can see that, Blather. Quick, get in the cave! Will one of you grimaces cut us down? Let me be the first to thank you, your grimaceness. Nah, but we have all of you to thank. The uh, Grimace here has shown us all that sometimes the uh, Grimace must rise to special challenge. Uh, you, uh, even if it's a little scary. I always knew he had hero potential. Uh, well, I still have a job to finish. Uh, do you think I could borrow another feather? Uh, one night Sally maybe give her the other one. Uh, it's my great honor, Grimace. Who would have thought? I always knew he had it in him. 
that and about 900 pounds of something else. This way! Curses! Blather! Do something! Nice, Grimace. Nice, Grimace. Oh, please don't tickle me. Please. Please. I'll do anything. I don't want to be tickled to death. You are very rude, uh, pirates. Uh, uh, please, uh, take Blather. Uh, let me go. I'll give you anything. Anything you want. Uh, here, here's my eye patch. How would you like his wooden leg? Uh, I don't want your leg. I want you to be nice or go back to where you came from and leave the Grimace treasure alone. Or else I'll use this. I'll give you to the count of three. Uh, uh, one, uh, uh, two, uh... You drive a hard bargain, you bulk of brave. Let's go, Blather. You're not going to fire me. Of course not. I need you to row. Good going, Grimace. Uh, thanks. Ah, you have shown us much, Grimace. We will always be indebted to you. Ah. Oh. <gasps> Whoa. Ah, as King Ganga, it is my honor to present you with the treasure of Grimace Island. The, the, the golden cup of Grimace bravery. There has never, ever the, been a Grimace brave enough to earn this ancient cup until today. <laughs> Way to go, pal. Well done, Grimace. Congratulations, Grimace. Uh, Thanks to all of you, too. Oh, gosh, this has been quite an adventure. Oh, wait till everybody back home sees this. Home sounds like a fabulous idea right now. I'm pooped. Oh, me too. Me three. You try being a pirate for a day. I guess it's time to go. So long, King Gunga. Yeah. Please know that you are all welcome here on Grimace Island. Please come back and visit any time. Uh, we sure will, King Gunga, now that we know how to get here. Uh, sort of. Um, just how are we going to get home? Friends in high places. Why didn't we think of this in the first place? would have been a lot faster. Come on, guys. Where's your spirit of adventure? Mine's back there where I left my stomach. Hey, look! What do you mean you lost the oars? Arr, I didn't mean to. The sharks ate them. Then start paddling with your hands, pirate. We've got a long way to go. Being a pirate wasn't very fun after all. No, but I love the whole eye patch part. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, not again. Oh, oh, I know. All we need is a really big pillow for this side. That's a start. Okay, everybody, we're ready to go. The Ronald McDonald debut of the Grimace Home Movies. Oh, yeah. oh, I just love oh, 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 home movie. Movie. <laughs> There's Grimace in a diaper. Here, Burglar, <laughs> I seem to remember someone's running through the sprinkler home movies. Oh, look, <laughs> there I am when I was a baby. Uh, uh, that's my favorite rubber band. Oh, boy, there's my grandma, Winky. Uh, oh, she's the one who gave me the map. Oh, uh, uh, there's my dad with uh, uh, my mom. Oh, aren't they a handsome couple? You know, Grimace, I have to say, you have your mother's eyes. And you have your father's prominent chin. Uh, really? And your grandma Winky's fat ankles. Uh, I know. I've got it proud of them. Oh, that's my great grandma Jenny Grimace. Oh, oh that's what I got car sick. Oh, and uh, that's one of my ballet recitals. You must have taken a lot of guts to get into that tutu. <laughs> and you thought you were a coward. Yeah, duh, but not anymore. I got a cup to prove it. 
This is your very own clown, Ronald McDonald. Hoping I'll see you next time, live and in person at McDonald's. Coming in 1999, an exciting new video adventure. Ronald McDonald and the visitors from outer space. Join Ronald and the gang as they rocket off into space to help rescue their pal, Hamburglar, who becomes a reluctant guest on an alien vacation. Don't miss Ronald McDonald and the visitors from outer space on video cassette and available only at McDonald's. Another day, time to get going. Let's sleep when we can play. Good morning, Sunday. Good morning, Ronald. Gotta get ready to enjoy the view. Looking kind of cool, looking kind of new. There are things we should be trying, me and you. A new day's here and fun is overdue. Cooler step into a new beat Got a tingling inside me And it's spreading to my feet McDonald land is changing Everything is rearranging I can't sit still Cause it's a beautiful day And Ronald McDonald's got something to say
You know, Sunday, these stories in the Intergalactic Express are pretty far out. <laughs> yeah. Get this. Sumo wrestler pogos for 36 hours straight. Ouch. City cures drainage problem thanks to Sumo Pogo. Perfectly believable. Oh, how about this? California man swallowed by a whale and carried to Alaska. Well, that's not the first time that's happened, you know. Oh, oh, get this. Woman owns dog that's able to read. Now that's just plain crazy. Face it, Sunday. These stories are all fake. Believe what you want, Ronald, but there's a world beyond our doors where strange and mysterious forces exist. Sunday, I've never seen you like this before. Ronald, I just don't think we're alone. <gasps> I mean in the universe, you know, aliens and all. You believe in them, don't you? Well, of course I believe in aliens. That's why I have the map. The map? The McDonaldland Alien Action Plan. M A A P. Right, that map. In the event of an alien sighting in McDonald Land, the witness shall immediately contact me, Ronald McDonald, by way of my trusty wrist communicator. <laughs> then Ronald <laughs> shall see to it that the alien siren is activated so that all of McDonald Land is alerted to the alien visitors. Ronald, are you there? Come in! Oh. Huh, my communicator. Come in, Hamburglar. Ronald McDonald here. Aliens are coming. Aliens, are you sure? I saw them with my own eyes. Hurry, hurry. Don't panic, Hamburglar. Easy for you to say. You're not hiding in the bushes ten feet away from some slimy space creatures. Just stay where you are. I have everything under control. We'll be there in a jiffy. I don't suppose you'd let me sit this one out, would you? And miss all the fun? <laughs> Quick, Sunday. Step one. We need to activate the alien siren. And where might the switch for that be? Well, hold on a minute. <laughs> Do you think everyone can hear that? People in space can hear it. Just make me look like him. Oops, gotta go. That's the siren for aliens. Uh. Sorry. Next audition. Ooh, ooh, uh, come on, guys. You know what that means. <laughs> we know. Don't call us. We'll call you. Now, little bird. Everybody, you know the drill. Let's play. So, Haley, 
Ronald, I don't see a whole lot of aliens to you. Not yet. Anyone else? No. Don't think so. Sorry. Wait. No, that's a cloud. Hmm. There's something funny about this. Just missed them. They're over by the observatory. Come on, everybody. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> One more time. Nothing like a good song, and that was nothing like a good song. Still no aliens! Not one. There's something kind of hamburgly about all this. Hold on a second! <laughs> so, Hamburglar, having a busy day? Oh, uh, Ronald, good to see you. I gotta go now. Time to do my uh, laundry. Your laundry? Since when are you wearing every burger in McDonald land? Um, that part of my spring fashion collection? Nice try, bunhead. You made up this whole alien thing, didn't you? Yes, and that's really kind of rotten. And on top of that, you were swiping burgers. Which I know you can't help, being the hamburglar and all. Uh, thanks for understanding. But someday you'll learn that fibbing just gets you into trouble. Come on, guys. Help me get these burgers back to where they belong. You too, Hamburglar. <laughs> yeah, well, it almost worked. <laughs> Aliens. Oh, that was a good one. Sometimes I just crack myself up. <laughs> huh? Ronald, is that you? <laughs> Something's happening! Help! Oh, oh, I wish Ronald was here! Ronald! Ronald, we got aliens! That Hamburglar, always with his pranks. Uh, you know, you can fool me once, you can fool me twice, but then you can only fool me a few more times till I uh, uh, start to catch on. You're a funny one. You have stripes like a bandolian flabbermack. Huh? <laughs> My name is Ord. Are you the leader of this planet? Uh, uh, yeah, I am the leader. I'm the Hamburglar, and this is uh, Hamburglar Land. Neat. Do you enjoy having fun? <laughs> I do. What kind of fun? <laughs> playing tricks on people and such. Sure, I like that a lot. <sighs> you know, I have a feeling we might just get along. You're from space, huh? I don't suppose you have any kind of special powers. Well, I do not like to boast, but uh, I can make some very interesting things occur. Interesting. Well, as leader of Hamburglar Land, I've got something I'd like you to do. <laughs> Hey, who supplied designer dots? That's what I'd like to know. We're not supposed to look like this! We don't like it. You know, with your build, horizontal stripes are a big no-no. Follow me. I think I know how we can get to the bottom of this. <laughs> nice work, Bite Size. Burglar. Quick, hide! <gasps> You're behind all this craziness, aren't you? Craziness? What on earth do you mean? How about that, for instance? Hamburger Haven? Where'd that come from? Wasn't it always there? 
Not as I recall. Okay, look, what kind of monkey business are you up to? You lost me there. That whole alien thingy. Ah, oh, that was a joke. Come on! Everybody knows there's no such thing as aliens. Strange weather we're having. It's gigantic. It's gargantuan. Uh, it's big. I don't believe this. We're about to meet neighbors from another world. I'm out of here. Oh. Oh. Cutting into our vacation time. Come here, you naughty thing. Uh, what's an org? There's one way to find out. Are you in there, org? Orgacious, this isn't funny. Uh, guys? Oh, uh, I'm Ronald McDonald. Yes, happy looking life form. What is it you require? There's a chance I may know where your org is. Then you must take us to him. Maybe no one's home. Let me try. You're gonna pay for that. No! <laughs> What's going on around here, Hamburglar? <laughs> Nothing. I don't know what you mean. Uh, hey, Mom. Hey, hey, Dad. There you are, you little scrapping. <laughs> you said you were taking a trip to Jupiter. You didn't mention anything about this. Sorry, I guess I fibbed. A lot of that going around these days. But at least you're all right. And Mom, Dad, this is the leader of Hamburglar Land. He's not the leader. <gasps> Don't listen to that guy. He's jealous. Can he come on vacation with us? Can he? Can he? Can he? I don't see why not. The vacation sounds just great. Hamburglar? Done deal. How long will I be gone for? Just one crepling. Oh, good. Which is 3,000 of your Earth years. What? Rana! Bye, leader. Catch you whenever. Oh, I, I tried to stop him. Yeah, too bad he's gone. Well, what do you want to do today? Sunday, we have to save the Hamburglar. Right away? I've got to tell you, I'm not going to miss that guy's pranks. You Say no! He's in quite a pickle. A jam, a morass. Who knows, maybe life in space is a gas. He's the one who takes pokes. Uh, and plays all the jokes. But things won't be the same if he's not in the game. Hey, Hamburglar, what shall we do with you? What are we going to do? I don't know. Hey, Hamburglar, what shall we do with you? <laughs> oh. He's really got nerve. This is what he deserves. But with him gone, it's dull. No, we're stuck at this low. You can add to the list that he'll really be missed. So with no more delay, let us get underway. Hey, Hamburglar, we're coming through for you. Hang on, buddy, here we come. Hey, Hamburglar, we're coming through. Remember, guys, this place wouldn't be the same without him. I guess you're right. But how do we save a guy that's somewhere in outer space? Easy, with a rocket ship. <laughs> She's a beaut. <laughs> Thanks. The rocket's pretty nice, too. Okay. Everybody inside! This is so cool! I like tricks! Uh, is there a movie on this flight? Navigator ready? Check, Captain! Check, Ronald, sir! Everybody buckled in? Check! Check! First a collar, then a leash, now this! This is it! Ten! Nine! Last off! Okay. Uh, why 
is everybody smiling? They're not smiling, it's G-forces. Uh, G-forces? I don't feel so good. In case of motion sickness, use the space bag found in the seat pocket in front of you. Whew, that's better. I need a cool bowl of water. <laughs> uh, can we do the blast off part again? Right now, we have to find the Hamburglar. Bertie, uh, any luck with a saucer scan? Negative, but there's a giant teacup in Sector 12. We'll keep checking. McNuggets, everything okay with you guys? Yes, sir. Ship shape, Captain Ronald. Great. Steady she goes, Bertie. And whatever you do, don't press the green button. Uh, right, Captain Ronald. Yeah. <gasps> oh, Grimace. There's no gravity up here. Uh, none down where I am, either. Ooh, I feel funny. I'm getting dizzy. Hey, who's the genius who put the green button next to the big purple guy? Uh, sorry, guys. It's okay, Grimace. Ronald, how do we fix this? It's not natural for me to be flying around. This just in. You're a bird. Okay, listen up. There's only one way we can get down. We have to reverse the atmospheric pressure and compensate for the inverted gravitational effect. Uh, what's that mean? We've got to press a button. <laughs> Not that one. Oh. Uh, that's better. Ronald, it's them. It's the flying saucer. Great, Bertie. Stay on their tail. I'll activate the view screen. Don't worry, Hamburglar. We're coming. Well, it's not that I don't appreciate this, but 3,000 years is a long time for a trip. Don't worry. There's a rest stop after the first thousand. Oh, boy. Hey, Hammy, look over here. Well, if I'm not mistaken, uh, your friend is following us. Ronald? Oh, this is great. He can get me out of this tin can. He can bring me back to McDonald land. Or I can play a little trick on him. No, uh, don't do that. <laughs> Uh, now what's going on? I'm not sure. What is that stuff? It's Trinisbian Palafam. Huh? Yours links call it Marshmallow. It won't hurt him. It'll just make a mess. What's next? <laughs> Very gooey, that saucer is. We call it Platosian Woofaloo. What is with the Hamburglar? Doesn't he want to be rescued? Now here's my favorite button. Uh, what do you call those? Sprinkles. Hey, stop it! That's dangerous! You're being outrageous! Did you know in your language that's paper called nuts? Uh-uh! Don't try it! No, if so, as a bug! Rescue me, cause that's what friends are for! Rescue me, it's not fun anymore! Rescue me, don't you love a good prank? Rescue me, not right now, to be frank! What does that button do? It ejects sticky goo! But if you're at a loss, you can say caramel sauce. At this rate, I'm sunk. Look at all this gunk. Rescue me, cause that's what friends are for. Rescue me, it's not fun anymore. Rescue me, don't you love a good prank? Rescue me, not right now to be frank. Rescue me, a oh, Ronald if you're near. Rescue me, somebody get
Uh, this is bad. We're almost through. Uh, gotta help Ronald. Uh, I know. Uh, I'll press a button. That worked before. Uh, Ronald? Not right now, Sunday. It's about Grimace. What about him? Uh, that. Bye bye. <laughs> No! Grimace is floating in space! Poor guy, what do we do? Don't worry, we'll get him. Bertie, take the wheel. Sunday, keep an eye on Grimace. I'm going for a space walk. Uh, uh, oops. I'm coming, Grimace! Hey, Ronald! Glad you jumped in. Uh, it's cold at first, but you get used to it. Grimace! Whoa! I'm coming, Grimace! Don't go anywhere! I've got nowhere to go! Uh, now I've got to turn this baby around. Uh, uh, here we go! Uh, what do we do now? Jump! Uh, uh, we did it! Finally on solid ground! <gasps> This is the spot where the radar saw them. But there's no one here. We've lost them. No! Look! Okay, Grimace. Here we go! <laughs> home sweet home. Uh, I think you mean uh, a rocket sweet rocket. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Way to go, Ronald. But we've still got a problem. Duh. This rocket's kind of messed up, Ronald. Uh, what are we gonna do? We'll do this. I am hungry. Well, we're saved. Oh, but I'm really grossed out. Uh, I guess I am hungry was hungry. I'm prepared for any emergency. Thanks for the help. I am hungry. Uh, that was weird. Oh, yeah! How we looking, Bertie? <clears throat> All systems go! Sunday? We've got a lock on the flying saucer. Then let's see what this baby can do! I thought you liked having fun. Well, yeah, but in McDonald land. Not a grip lick away! Do I have to stop this saucer and come back there, or are you two going to behave? Mom! Don't give me that mom stuff. Look! Down there! It's Ronald! You are right! I cannot believe it! I gotta get out of here before you try another nutty stunt! Where's the door? Here we go! What I do? Org, did you just eject our dinner? It wasn't me! Hey, uh, Ronald, what's that big purple thing? I think we're about to find out. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Direct splat on both planets. That could be a problem. You need it, need it. Myself. Goodbye, cruel world. Goodbye! Goodbye! Uh oh, this can't be fixed, right? What planet are you from? Oh, this is 
just like our last vacation. And doesn't it figure we've still got three payments left on this thing? Org saucer is broken. Uh, and we're next. Not if I can help it. Right. You've got a way to single-handedly stop an interplanetary food fight. Uh huh. Just can't help it, I gotta move. Huh, feel it low, wow, feel it deep. Ooh, ah, funky planet, yeah. Whoa, help me, I can't stop. Ooh, it's an interplanetary, ooh, hip hop. From Neptune to Orion, ooh, you're sure to find him trying. Yeah, the funky planet. The fun, fun, <laughs> funky planet. Yeah, the fun, wild, crazy, hot, cool, wild. I am hungry. Did I say fun? <laughs> yeah, interstellar out of sight. It will put you into flight. Shake it up through that way. Funky planet. The whole solar system. It's all grooving to a brand new rhythm. Even at the galactic rim, all those creatures gotta swim to the funky planet! To the funky planet! Fun, 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 funky planet! <laughs> yeah, ooh, ah, fun! Hey, Ronald, can you give us a lift? Is this breeze too much for you? Oh, fine, it's fine. So, anything you'd like to say, Hammy? Or should I say, troublemaker? Um, I stay for a picnic. Anything else? All right! I'm sorry! It's all my fault! I fib! We know! I took burgers! We know! I painted Sunday's tail! Huh? Didn't know that. So, you forgive me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> How long is it before we reach Space Station Rackalack? We'll be there in a jiff. <gasps> Ronald, we're losing altitude! It's, it's the extra weight. We don't have enough power. Uh, what extra weight? Gee, could it be the two million pound aliens hitching a ride on a rocket? They don't weigh a million pounds. They are the right weight for their height. Hey, guys, it doesn't matter. We're falling. Yeah, this is all because I told one little fib. No matter what happens, from now on, let's all agree, no fibbing. Okay, maybe my folks put on a couple of pounds last summer. <laughs> I feel funny. You look funny. <laughs> Ronald, it's, it's Space Station Rockola. Can we land on it? Sure, the hard way. What do we do, Ronald? Uh, I'm working on that. <laughs> hey, what's this do, Ricky? Grimace, you did it. <laughs> I did? We made it to the station right on schedule. Now we can start our vacation. As long as a certain ore is done with his mischief. Do you have anything to say? Sorry you cannot come with us. It's okay. I, I, I'm not really the leader anyhow. You're not? No, I'm not. But we did have some fun, didn't we? Without a doubt. Well, it was sure nice meeting you guys. You're welcome to drop by McDonaldland anytime you'd like. Okay, gang, back in the rocket. See you later. Uh, is there a movie on this flight? We'll be back home before you know it. Safe and sound. On, on the, the ground. ground. <laughs> Smelling that McDonald's land air. I like those aliens. I sure hope they're having a fun vacation. Ooh, 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 that, 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 please, please, can, can I go to the black hole now? Can I, can I get out? Please, can I, can I, can I, can I go now? You 
just ate. You have to wait 30 minutes. But, Dad! You heard your father. Don't make him repeat this one. about that Sunday. No problem, didn't feel a thing. Sunday, remind me to install a safety net before our next adventure. Will do. Come in, Ronald. Come in, Ronald. Oh no, not again. Ronald McDonald here, over. Hey, Ronald. Hamburglar, what's up? See any more aliens? Very funny. I was just calling to say that I'm glad to be back home in McDonald land and not spending a crap like in space. Don't mention it, Hamburglar. It was a team effort. Besides, we learned a valuable lesson. The hard way, may I add. Yeah, who would have thought that one little fib could get you into so much trouble? Took the fun right out of fibbing. Huh? Well, you learn something new every day. See you later. Okay, over and out. Uh, Ronald? Yeah? How can you tell the difference between fibbing and teasing? Well... You know when Grimace pretends to throw a stick and he yells, fetch, and you run away? Well, yeah. That's teasing. Oh, like when you say, which hand's the cookie in, but it's not in either hand because there's no cookie? Exacto mundo. And like when Hamburglar walks in here and says he's on a no hamburger diet? Well, now that's not teasing. That's a gigantic fib. <laughs> in fact, fibs don't get much bigger than that. You know, Ronald, I actually like the whole space adventure thing. We should do it again sometime. Yeah, that would be great. Uh, maybe we could go to Saturn and count the rings. Ronald. Or we could go to the moon and look for cheese. Ronald, I was teasing. Dogs, space, not a good thing. Exacto mundo. This is your very own clown, Ronald McDonald. Hoping I'll see you next time, live and in person at McDonald's. Remember the fun you had watching The Wacky Adventures of Ronald McDonald? Watching Ronald get chased by a bear and scared silly. Or the time Ronald and the gang sailed the high seas in search of the legend of Grimace Island. And the adventure you just enjoyed as Ronald and friends had a close encounter with some visitors from outer space. What'll happen on the next wacky adventure of Ronald McDonald? Will Ronald travel through time? Will he meet a monster from another land? Will he have a birthday party? Whatever happens, you'll have a blast watching. Don't miss the next wacky adventure with Ronald and the gang on video cassette and available only at McDonald's.
personality, an adventurous spirit, and really big feet. <laughs> yep. Oh, hey, hi there. <laughs> Whoa. Check out these new anti-gravity boots I got for my birthday. Don't ever let anyone tell you astronauts don't give great presents. <laughs> Watch this. That's one small step for me. One giant leap for clown kind. <laughs> Batteries must be low. Whew, that sure was a lot of fun. Sort of like my surprise birthday party this year. <laughs> Hamburglar sure gave a new meaning to the word surprise. And some crabby little professor gave new meaning to being a kid. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Oh. Now, where did I put my everyday shoes? Not there, not there, not there. Shoe, 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 shoe. Now, if I were a pair of shoes, where would I be? everybody. Hey, Sunday. Hey, Birdie. Is the party today? Yeah, you bet. It'll be the best yet. Let's spread the word. Hooray! Hey, Franklin. Hey, Tika. We'll surprise Ronald today. I'll be there. Just tell me where. And, and we'll, we'll all celebrate. Because it's, it's a birthday. Ronald a gift, you'll give him a lift. Yippee too, what can I say? Hey McNugget, 
Up. I had to pick Ronald's birthday. I'm not a ham burglar. I'm a ham bungler. <laughs> yes! <laughs> that mopey little ham burglarish fellow will play right into my plan <laughs> to take over the world. What am I gonna do? Hello there, my down in the mouth friend. Huh? Uh, who are you? Thaddeus J. Pinchworm, world-renowned evil sci- and I, uh, um, master showman. I'm here to help you in your time of need. Oh, sorry, but I'm beyond help. I need a present for my friend's birthday. Everybody else has something great, but I got nada. Zippo. Zilch. Ah, what you need is a trip to a fanciful, magical world where troubles are yesterday and fun is the national bird. I'm talking, of course, about birthday world. It's gonna cost a zillion dollars to get in. You are one sharp customer. Normally it costs just that, exactly one zillion dollars. But because you strike me as a fine, upstanding McDonaldland citizen, I present you with free tickets! Free tickets? Oh, this is great! I'll have the best gift of all! Oh, thanks, mister! It's Professor, you spineless little bit! I, I mean, you're welcome! <laughs> <laughs> you really scared the mailman this morning, Sunday. He was just doing his job. I'm a dog. It's what I do. Say, why'd you want to walk all the way over here anyway? <laughs> hey, Sunday. Hey, Ronald. Can't stop. I'm uh, late for your surprise party. See you there. Yeah, I'll be the surprised one. This is one of the nicest, uh... Hats! Hats I've ever seen. Uh, I wrote a poem for you. <clears throat> his clothes are striped, his feet are large, his nose is cherry red. My friend, his name is Ronald, not Dwayne or Sven or Ned. Oh, Grimace, that was so great. Uh, with cheeks of white and fingers ten and clothes that are wrinkle-resistant. How many verses are there, anyhow? Uh, 27. Time for cake. Ronald, I got you some silly glasses. <laughs> Neat. I built you your own Ronald toy. <laughs> cool. I made you something dear to my heart. Sunday, you're the best. Hey, we worked out a special dance for you. Hit it! <laughs> now, who says McNuggets don't have rhythm? Hey, Hamburglar, what did you get Ronald this year? Well, not that I like to brag, but my gift is the best one of all. Oh, what is it? I am gonna take everybody to Birthday World! Wow, Birthday World, that's great! What do you think, gang? I never heard of it. It's a fanciful, magical world where troubles are yesterday, and fun is the national bird. Follow me! Hurry up, let's go, we're almost there! <laughs> knock, knock, knock! Hello! <laughs> we will be visiting the park for the day, my good man. Yes, you do that! <laughs> I mean, that's swell! 
Well. About a captive audience. Hamburglar. Oh, come on, this will be great. No escape trapped forever. Nothing can disturb our day of fun. We're never getting out of here. D uh, game over. Easy does it, Grimace. Yeah, let's enjoy ourselves, okay? Please. Hamburglar's got a good point. It's his gift, so let's give it a chance. So be a gas, can't wait till it goes fast. Just buckle me in and let the fun begin. I'm feeling like I'm almost free. If only this ride was riding with me. These rides are funny, but a crummy racetrack. If I paid money, I'd ask for it back. We don't wanna stay here anymore. Never had a birthday like this before. Sliding all the way down. It's way too close to the ground. Who would build such a stupid slide? What a sorry excuse for an amusement ride. These rides are funny, they were built by a hack. If I paid money, I'd ask for it back. We don't want to stay here anymore. I never had a birthday like this before. To go. I haven't the words to describe the thrill. But I wouldn't choose to repeat that spill. These rides are funny and they're starting to crack. If I pay money, I'd ask for it back. We don't want to stay here anymore. I never had a birthday like this before. They call this a theme park? What's the theme, anyhow? Crummy rides? Come on, guys. Not all theme parks have to have themes. And not all fun has to be, uh, fun. Sorry for the technical difficulties, but be sure to settle our fun later right next door. You heard the guy? Come on! I say we give it a shot. Yes! Give, give it, it a, a shot! shot. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, ignore that cackling. I think we got a winner this time, Hamburglar. <laughs> Let's get ready for fun and adventure! <laughs> and solid steel restraints. Hello, my little guinea pigs. Hey, who you calling pigs? We're McMuggets. Enough is enough, sir. I demand to know what's going on. The name's Pinchworm, and you're going on a little ride. <laughs> the ride of your lives! <laughs> Yippee, the ride of our lives! <laughs> That's a bad thing. Uh, they should rename it. You let us out of here this minute. Sorry, no can do. Happy birthday, Ronald. Everybody just hang on. <laughs> Welcome to the wacky world of Professor Pinchworm. Please do enjoy the ride, my sorry friend. <laughs> The spinning discs are making me dizzy. I wish we weren't on this awful ride. Somebody stop this roller coaster. Let us off, we wanna go outside. Listen to those horns, those noisy clackers. I don't think I like this at all. Uh, Ronald, look at that row of clackers. Grimace, those ducks are as mean 
as can be. Stop, stop, stop. I want to get off the ride. I close my eyes, but I'm too scared to blink. I'd like to fly, get away from that creepy guy. Cause anywhere else we'd rather be. <laughs> Welcome to Pinchworm's House of Mirrors. <laughs> These flashing lights are way too bright. Something tells me this isn't right. I'm getting scared. I'm losing my sight. It's giving me an awful fright. Oh, look, I see some teddy bears. This ought to be some fun. Look out, guys. Those bears are coming right at us. And there's no place to run. Stop, stop, stop. I want to get off this ride. I close my eyes. <laughs> I like to stop and smell the flowers, but these flowers could scare a bee. Watch out, everybody! Be careful! Now, duck! Hey, that wasn't so bad. Uh. Guys, I think something's happened here. <laughs> Look at Wanu. He's funny. Look at you. You're funny. I'm not. I'm too. I'm not. I'm too. Yeah. Look at the Litty Bitty McDuggets. Look at the not so itty bitty Grimace. I'm a puppy again. I hope I'm housebroken. I can't believe it. That crazy Ray. It made us all younger. Uh, Ray who? Dude, Reynolds right. Look at me. I'm too young to fly. Hey, where's Franklin and Tika? <laughs> Come on, guys. That's ten. <laughs> Uncle Pinchworm's coming, my little children. Uh-oh, we've got to get out of here. Oh, no, it's locked. Hurry, Blinald, he's getting closer. And I gotta find a fire hydrant. Yeah. This should do it. <laughs> what? <laughs> I get the next turn. <laughs> Woo Got it. Let's go. <laughs> oh, 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 Toddlers. Oh, of course. When I made them younger, they were able to slip through the restraints. Drat! Hogster! I'm looking for a red-haired toddler. White face, red nose, smells like fries and pickles. Go, boy! <laughs> Hurry, everybody! We've got to outsmart this robotic rover!
We're surrounded by bushes. Excuse me a sec, would you? Tika's got a diaper thing happening. Guys, I spy a great place to hide. Okay, I'll count. One, eleven, uh, twenty. Three. Guys, this way. Uh, 
burglar, how'd you find this place? I saw a sign that said Ronald and friends hide here. Uh, I don't think that sign was a good sign. Troublemakers. Thought you'd seen the last of me? I figured you got bushed. So what do you want with us? You, my little band of wide-eyed moppets, have played a part in history. You have proven that my babomatic ray is fully operational. Patent pending. It turns anyone it zaps into children. <laughs> we kind of noticed. Now change us back. Don't you talk to me in that tone of voice, my young magical friend. I love it. This is just the beginning. The ray I used on you was my portable model. I have constructed a giant ray, which I will turn on the Earth to transform the entire population into wee little children. <laughs> Don't you see? I'll be the only one who can stay up late. The only one who can reach the top shelves. The only one allowed to hold the remote control. In short, I will rule. <laughs> ah, the playgrounds will be all full crowded. You're mad, I say. Mad. Oh? <laughs> Do you think a madman could make this? <gasps> I see someone is just itching for a time out. Ah, I must power up the generator. By my calculations, at exactly 2.15, I'll have enough power harnessed to throw the big switch. And when I do... <laughs> you dark left! <laughs> Worm is gonna throw the big switch. How will we ever find him? We're doomed. No, wait. I, I think I'm picking up his scent. Go for it, Sunday. A hint of lilac, a pinch of pure evil, a dash of dirty diaper. Sorry. Follow me. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> You're too late, my minuscule mascot. The generators are charged. I'm ready to zap the planet. Uh, any last words before I turn the entire population into a bevy of babies? Oh, no. This is bad. Oh, too late. Uh, what's a bevy? Bevy. A large grouping, usually of quail. Well, you know, I think Grimace has some last words. Uh, I do? This would be a good time for my birthday poem. You got it. <clears throat> his clothes are striped, his feet are large, his nose is cherry blue. Oh. My friend, uh, his name is Rubble. Not Dwayne or Sven or... Uh, wait a sec. Maybe I should try yeah, another verse. Uh. His smile is big. His eyes are too. Let's not forget his screen. I'd rather be with Ronald than be with uh, someone green. Here's what I want you to do. His chin is south. His forehead north. His ears they are Enough! Number, uh, no more dallying. Time to throw the big switch. What? Be gone, you. Try beat up for sight! This is highly undignified! I'd give up right now if I were you. Nonsense! Thaddeus J. Pinchworm is no quitter! What? <laughs> On you. You Come on, Hamburglar. For once, do something right. Hamburglar, Pinchworm's ray backfired and turned us all back to normal. Thank you. All right. You nailed it. Good going, Hamburglar. Well, I kind of got us into this mess. The least I could do is get us out. That's what you get for listening to evil scientists. Whatever happened to Pinchworm anyway? <laughs> Not fair. Not fair. I was going to woo the world. <laughs> Cockster! No! No, Cockster! No! <laughs> uh, anyone up for some birthday cake? Since Hamburglar's the big hero, he gets the first piece. So you're not mad at me? I mean, I didn't exactly get you a great present. Ah, oh, Hamburglar, the best birthdays are when you get to spend time with friends. And that's just what happened here today. Who else wants cake? Uh, I'll have a bevy of cake. <laughs> what did I tell you? That was fun, huh? 
<laughs> Boy, Hamburglar and Trouble go together like Sunday in a chew bone. I heard that. <laughs> it's a joke. Another present. <laughs> wow, I'm the luckiest clown I know. Hey, a card. <clears throat> Happy belated birthday from King Gunga and all your surfing, duh, friends on Grimace Island. Aw, oh, well, better belated than be never. Cool. <laughs> well, I knew it was a surfboard by the shape of the box. Oh, I had a great birthday. I hope all your birthdays are just as much fun for you and your friends. Message from Hamburglar. Surfs up! Looks like it's time to hit the waves. Catch some tubes. Woohoo! Until next time, this is your very own clown, Ronald McDonald, hoping I'll see you live and in person at McDonald's. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> hey, everybody. If you thought that was fun, take a peek at some of the other adventures we have in store for you. <laughs> Wacky! <laughs> Coming soon, a wacky new Ronald McDonald adventure. Have time, will travel. Take a journey back in time with Ronald and his friends as they travel through the ages and encounter hungry dinosaurs, crabby kings, and a posse of cowboys. Don't miss, have time, will travel. Ba 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 
prizes. Adventures come in lots of sizes. We'll have fun. Be outrageous. Wackiness is sure contagious. Come on, Hamburg with Bernie Grimace, too. I want you all with me, and that includes you. On the way to play. On the run for fun. Going miles for smiles. Come on, everyone. We never know. No, no, no. What's around the bend? How about we just can't wait? Adventures are great with all. Resetting the clocks. Yay! I don't suppose you could lend a hand. Look out below! Oh, <laughs> I need to switch to a digital clock. Clocks. You never really know them till you're face to face. <laughs> you know, time's a funny thing. Well, usually a funny thing. Except in today's adventure, when we accidentally traveled back in time and ran into prehistoric creatures, and when we had to sing for a crabby little king, and we oh, <clears throat> But I'm getting ahead of myself. 30 seconds until adventure time, Ronald. You know what that means. It's time to talk time. Welcome to Ronald McDonald's Time Talk. With us today is Ronald McDonald. Tell me, Ronald, do you have a favorite time? That's a good question, Ronald. Let's see. I like a good time. I'm particularly fond of lunchtime. But I'd have to say my favorite time is any time. What a timely answer. Thank you, Ronald. Thank you, Ronald. Nope. Oh, we're out of time. Hope you had a good time. See you next time. Time to feed the fish. And read Grimace a bedtime story? Hey, what are you doing going off? You're not supposed to go off till tomorrow. Hee! Boy, time flies when you're having fun. 15 seconds until adventure time, Ronald. I don't have a lot of time on my hands. Today's adventure is all about time travel. And it's a doozy. Well, why don't you see for yourself? Five, four, three, two, one! Hey, anyone in the mood for an adventure? What is it with you an adventure? I chased my tail a few times. <laughs> I'm done for the day. Ooh, how about a renaissance adventure with night swordplay and beautiful maidens? Or a horseback adventure with uh, horses and uh, backs and, uh, you know, adventure. Those are both great ideas. How about a disco adventure? Disco adventure? Yeah, I'm a dancing fool. <laughs> wow, look at me working. I'm jiggy. Huh. Well, that's a lot to squeeze in. I don't know how we'll make the time. But let's go get Franklin and see what we can do. I've got to starch the lab coats, dust the shelves, tag the test tubes, and rinse the beakers. I promised my dad. Oh, well. Bye. We're gonna have fun. You know, I think what wow. Hamburglar wow. means is none of us could enjoy ourselves knowing you were stuck here cleaning all by yourself. Actually, no. Listen, if we all pitch in and work as a team, we can finish in no time. Then we can all have fun together. This whole team thing is a problem. <laughs> You'll get over it. Franklin, have no fear. We'll all help you out. Thanks, guys. You're the best. So, what are we waiting for? Let's roll up our sleeves and get to work. We're here to help our buddy. To pitch in for our pal. So grab a muffin bucket. And hand me a wash towel. Cleaning up the lab. We're cleaning up the lab. We'll scrub those 
speakers, get them so clean, we'll squeak like sneakers. We'll dust and mop from bottom to top. And when we're done, we'll have some fun. We'll polish and gloss. And brush and floss. We'll scrub and shine. And make it look so fine. Cleaning up the lab. We're cleaning up the lab. We'll scrub those beakers, get them so clean, we'll squeak like sneakers. We'll dust and mop from bottom to top. And when we're done, we'll have some fun. Roll up each and every sleeve. Heave, ho, 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 heave, heave. We all can work together. And then we all can leave. Cleaning up the lab. We're cleaning up the lab. We'll scrub those speakers, get them so clean. We'll squeak like sneakers. We'll dust and mop from bottom to top And when we're done, we'll have some fun Wow! Guys, I think I found something interesting. Whoa! Whoa. What is it? What is it? Oh, that's just my dad's time machine. Time, time machine? As in machine? That travels through time? I can show it to you after we finish cleaning. Looks like the gang is taking the time out. Uh, what does this button do? Please, don't touch anything. This is the fourth version my father's made. He still hasn't worked out all the bugs yet. <laughs> Everyone always blames the bugs. I'm not allowed to mess with my dad's experiments. Besides, I promised I'd get this place cleaned up by the time he came home. So let's get cracking. But don't you see? With the time machine, we can jump a few hours into the future and have all the chores behind us. Guys, don't even think about it. Is this the two-hour button? Wow! Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's happening? Oh, no. oh, I'm gonna be in so much trouble. Everybody, hold on! News flash, Birdie. We have to get back to the attic right now. Right now. Oh, great. Just great. Everyone just relax. We have to stick together. Ronald, come quick. Coming, Hamburglar. Hang on. Nice to meet you, Rumfold McDumfold. I'm Ronald McDonald. You look like me, only worse. Ugh, ugh, 
Oh, that time machine is messed up. It's got people and dinosaurs living at the same time. That's not how it was. Let's get out of here. Not so fast. I have a feeling we could learn a lot from these guys. Though you grunt mm. while I talk mm. And you hop while I walk mm. Deep down under the skin mm -hmm. We are all really kin We're not so different after all mm -hmm. We're both big We're both small We're both short And we're both tall mm. we're, we're not so different after all Chasing my tail puts the wind in my sail. Hey, you like it too. There's a lot we both do. Burgers for me, cave burgers for you. There's not much difference when the day is true. We're not so different after all. We're both big. We're both small. We're both short. And we're both tall. We're not so different after all. Franklin's my name, science is my game, and it looks like you are pretty much the same. You got a beak that's just like mine. That your skin has a nice purpley shine. We're not so different after all. We're both big. We're both small. We're both short. And we're both tall. We're not so different after all. Hello, partly digested time machine. Kid in danger of getting like grounded for life. <laughs> I'm gonna regret that later. Uh, boy, oh boy, she really seems to go for those burgers. That's it? You're brilliant! No, oh, I'm the uh, Grimace. Guys, if we can't bring the time machine to us, we'll bring us to the time machine. Sounds dangerous. Hamburglar, do you have any burgers left? Just one. Mm, 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 mm. No, Roomfold, we need this. Okay, everyone, hop on! So much burger, so little time. Come on, Hamburglar! Sized breath mint. Great. One more thing we have to clean up. Okay, everybody, let's blast off before it's time for dessert. Anyone mind if we stop for a snack? I could really use a couple of hand. Shh! Ronald is trying to concentrate! I'm just not sure. Ooh, uh, uh, this one looks nice. Well, something's happening. This is definitely not my attic. These are definitely not my tights. Ooh, I adore the costume. I don't like the smell of this. <laughs> Sounds like it's time to take cover. 
I wonder if the coast is clear. Watch out! They could be dangerous! Oh, don't be silly, Grimace! How could they be dangerous? Why, I bet they've been out slaying dragons or rescuing beautiful princesses! Oh, Snatching helpless birdies! Rhino! Help! Help! Birdie! Me thinks I've caught a cuckoo bird! Tis quite a funny-looking creature, is she not? Nay, for you shall make a dainty dish to set before the king. King Mary, that is. <laughs> Why, thank you. <laughs> Wait a minute. This may not be good. To the castle! <laughs> <laughs> right have no fear, Birdie! She can have some of mine! Come on, gang. Birdie needs us right now. Wow. They come when you whistle. Even I don't do that. <laughs> Be nice, Horsey. Okay, everyone, we're off to rescue Fair Birdie. To the castle! Ow, ow, ow. To the castle! <laughs> okay, let's go, move it. Come on, shake a hoof. Uh, I think you gotta say, to the castle. Right, like this guy understands. To the castle. Uh, to the castle? Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. Uh. <laughs> okay, comfy. <laughs> She's good and plump. Well, you're staring at my problem area. Where are the four and twenty blackbirds? Escape, sire. Very well. I shall bake this creature in a royal pie. Did you say bake me? His royal highness hath been in a royal funk. Very few things seem to make him smile. But a tasty meal is always met with glee. the songbirds of which you speak, but make merry for King Murray, and you shall win your freedom. But if you fail... Me, 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 me! Oh, me better find a way out of here. Mark my royal words. This set better be good or I shall throw a royal tantrum. If it pleases the king. Thou ought not count on it. What doth she do? Hmm. Oh, uh, entertain your lordship. She sings. Like a bird. Hey, boys! A king is a marvelous thing. A king, I sing. It's bad that you're always so sad. Or maybe it's just that you're mad. Poor Birdie, this is terrible. Yeah, she never could carry the tomb. But my wish is to ease your anguish and not end up as a dish. 
So, King, please enjoy my warbling is coming to nice sing. Look, King Murray's smiling. That's a smile, right? You call it that entertainment? Send her to the dungeon. Uh oh. Thank you very much and good night. I love you. This is not good. You can say that again. This is not good. Duh, I, I knew I was gonna do that. Okay, here's the plan. Hamburglar, you sneak down to the dungeon and see if there's some way to free Birdie while the rest of us try to distract King Murray and his guards. Let's go! Wow, a little soap water, some elbow grease. This place would still be disgusting. Ronald, where are you? Disorder in the court! Disorder in the court! Hmm, what in the world have we here? A humble mirth maker and his friends, Your Majesty. May I present, for your viewing pleasure, one Ronald McDonald and the McDonald Land Players! I guess that's us. <laughs> <laughs> Tis funny. <laughs> Tis very funny. The king is a monarch, is true. He owns lots of diamonds and jewels. But it's not always a lark, life is often quite stark. Being king can make you feel blue. It's not easy being king, getting caught in your crown. Get me to a frown. And that's not a very good thing. He makes decisions all day long, doesn't care if they're right or wrong. Not to worry, he's both judge and jury. Head of the team. But when subjects mess up and they will mess up, it leads to frustration extreme. <laughs> it's not easy being king. You can trip on your ermine and end up squirming. Or no, it's not a fling. He makes decisions all day long. Doesn't care if they're right or wrong. as it were. Hey there, Birdie. Oh, thank goodness you've come to save me. This place is absolutely filthy. I bet it is crawling with bugs. You know, I don't have to take this. Where's Hamburglar? He was supposed to save you. I demand to see a lawyer. Can I make a phone call? How about a last meal? A burger would be... <laughs> Uh, there's Hamburglar. I see someone opened their trap. You goofy minions have made a laughing stock of my court, and now you shall suffer accordingly. Now 
now the bleakest hour is upon us. Surely I shall be grounded for all eternity. Huh? A pox on my doghouse. Ah, ah, oh. Huh? And woe is me, for I pushed the very button that landed us here. Say, Grimace, is it my imagination, or is everybody talking funny? Perchance, me thinks. Uh, I've got to get you guys out of here. Hmm. Ah. Okay, big shoes, do your stuff. The room, it, uh, turn it. Oh! Wow. Come on, gang. Let's get back to the time machine. <laughs> Better hurry. We've got a lot of years to cover. If there was only some way I could override the control system and isolate the destination codes. Not have company! You will ever just do it faster? I know you can do it, Franklin. Here goes nothing! <laughs> I don't remember seeing tumbleweeds in Franklin's attic. Me neither. Oh, well, looks like the right place to me. Um, those might not be for the taking. The name is Ham Burglar, remember? I think you should remember we're not in McDonald land right now. Okay, I'll put him back. There he is! There's that burger thieving varmint! Just one. Run! He went this way! He's that way! Just like you, Hamburglar. Only not as handsome. Henry H. Burglar the second. What? That's my great great granddaddy. It's Henry Burglar. Come on! <laughs> Everybody inside. Burglar. There's no mistaking the most wanted varmint in the whole county! <laughs> That's the way to do -si do Grimace. Now let's get out of here. I owe you, big guy. Uh, what'd I do? Uh -huh. <laughs> Just enough fuel to get home. Get that hamburglar! But we still don't know how to control this thing! We're never gonna make it! We're gunners! Hold on, everybody. We want to get back to McDonald Land, right? Right! right. Well, maybe we've just been pushing the wrong buttons.
Well, this was part of McDonald land in the 70s. At least we're getting closer. Wow, I don't believe it. It's Mayor McCheese. Oh my, what a McDonald. Well, I'll be a burger in Bellbottom. Oh, whatever, don't you know. Hey, I just learned the latest dance craze, the hustle. <laughs> looking good, Mayor. And you're looking a little different. Is it the fog machine in here, or are you doing something with your hair? It's a long story. Anyhow, it's good to see you again. Always a pleasure. Now let's get down, shall we? Oh, off the camp, my boogie! Hoo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Twist and shout! Back in the machine, guys. We're almost home. I bet this'll do the trick. It looks positively worse than when we started. Hmm. Seems that trying to cut corners only made extra work, right, guys? Point made. I'm in the doghouse over here. Me too. And I'm not even a dog. Look at the bright side. Whether we meant to or not, we did everything we set out to do this weekend. <laughs> Not everything, Birdie. We've got 15 minutes before Franklin's dad comes home. Let's boogie! We've traveled through the ages. Saw kings and dinosaurs. But everything is grimy. We've still got all these chores. Cleaning up the lab. We're cleaning up the lab. We'll scrub those beakers, get them so clean. We'll speak like sneakers. Disco floor. Ooh, ooh. Adventures with Ronald. Or never a bore. Cleaning up the lab. We're cleaning up the lab. We'll scrub those beakers, get them so clean, they'll squeak like sneakers. We'll dust and mop from bottom to top. We've had our fun, now there's work to be done. Hello, everyone. You know, Franklin, I was thinking you should enjoy the weekend and leave the cleaning to me. Too late. Wow, <laughs> it looks great in here. You guys must have been working all day. Well, actually, we took the time to do a great job. Well, I have got the perfect reward for all of you. This is my quizzical time travel transporter. Why don't you all just hop in and we... Hello? Where'd everybody go? I think we've had all the adventure we need for one day. So much for putting things off for another time. I'll you say. know it, and how. Oh, uh, yeah. Tonight I'm gonna sleep like a frog. The expression is sleep like a log, Grimace. Uh, maybe I'll do that tomorrow night. <laughs> you know, one thing I learned from today's adventure is, if you look for the easy way out, it usually ends up being harder than you think.
I better call Franklin and let him know there's another snag in his dad's machine. Until next time, this is your very own clown, Ronald McDonald, hoping I see you live and in person at McDonald's. It, Franklin? Uh, don't know quite how to tell you this, but... Uh... Hey, everybody. If you thought that was fun, take a peek at some of the other adventures we have in store for you. <laughs> <laughs> Coming soon, Ronald McDonald's all new wacky adventure, The Monster O McDonald Land Lock. Join Ronald and the gang as they take a car trip to a mysterious lake and take part in a massive monster hunt. If you like really big adventures, then watch out for The Monster O McDonald Land Lock. Adventures of Ronald McDonald. Hey kids, did you hear the news? Time to put on your adventure shoes. Get ready for some big surprises. Adventures come in lots of sizes. We'll have fun, be outrageous. Wackiness is sure contagious. Come on, Hamburg with Bernie Grimace too. I want you all with me, and that includes you. On the way to play, on the run for fun, going miles for smiles. Come on, everyone. We'd never know, no 
no, no. What's around the bend? But we just can't wait. Adventures are great with all our friends. Let me hear ya. Bop, 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 bop. Come on. Bop, 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 everybody. Bop, 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 bop. Oh, the wacky adventures of a Ronald McDonald. <laughs> Hey there! Check out this cool stuff I got at McDonald Land Lock. Here, listen to this. Note to self self, never buy rusty bagpipes. <laughs> you're not rusty, you're not rusty. Just a little temperamental. <laughs> well, all I can say after that last adventure is wow. What started out as a simple visit to a castle turned into a full-blown monster hunt. Have you ever seen a monster? Or has anyone ever told you they saw a monster and you didn't believe them? Oh boy, did we learn our lesson. There it is, Ronald the monster! What? I thought you said there was a monster behind me. Monster! There it is, Ronald! Oh, I get it. You want to see the monster in our adventure. Well, you're not going to believe your eyes. Let's get this adventure going. Ready, set, go. Five, four, three, two, one. Hey, gang, what's happening? Sunday, were you chasing the mailman again? No, I got a letter from my favorite cousin, Scotty. The terrier? From McDonald Land Lock? Yeah, he sent this invitation. He wants us all to visit. Well, what are we waiting for? How is it you always whistle when I'm in the middle of a shampoo? Sorry, but we're off to McDonald Land Lock. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, hop in. Tell the dog to watch out for the upholstery. Watch your fingers, watch your paw. Buckle up now, it's the law. for some ice cream. Not in my interior. Yeah. Remember that time you spilled a hot fudge sundae all over you, Grimmy? Oh. 
You are picking sprinkles out of your fur for a week. Longer? Uh, seven days. Hey, wait. You said you wouldn't tell anyone, Bertie. Oops. Sorry. If you have anything you want to keep quiet, don't tell Bertie. Oh, Hamburglar, I only told a couple of people to hit you sleep with a teddy bear. <laughs> Bertie? Listen up, guys. McDonald and Locke sits... You got a teddy bear? Mr. Tough. What's his name? Thanks, Big Beak. I'm sorry. I'm a bad excuse for a secret keeper. Oh, Bertie, you'll get better at secret keeping. I just know it. Excuse me. But is anybody interested in hearing a dog read a brochure? In most of the world, that's a TV special. Go ahead, Sunday. At the festival of McDonald Landlock, you'll enjoy music, food, and fun. And if you're lucky, you may even catch a glimpse of the mysterious monster of McDonald Landlock. Monster? As in, uh, monster? No, monsters, as in cute furry bunnies. Well, I heard an old legend that says a huge sea serpent lives in the deep, dark waters of the lock. Some say it exists, but no one's ever been able to prove it. <laughs> Who'd be dumb enough to believe that? I would, but then I also thought Bertie would keep quiet about my irrational fear of duckies. I did keep quiet about that, Granny. Oh, uh, thanks. You know, I believe in that sea monster. And I believe you're one patty short of a Big Mac. Here's the lock, everybody. Mmm, smell that fresh air. Okay, guys, end of the line. Thanks for riding Ronald's car. Have a nice day. But how are we supposed to get from here to uh, not here? All I know is I am not getting my chassis wet. Just think how good a nice dip in the cool water will feel. I don't know, Ronald. I'll get you that new car freshener you had your eyes on. Yeah, I mean, headlights. Okay, now you're talking. All aboard! Bon voyage! Oh. You might have to throw in a new filter. Oh no! I see it! The monster! It's horrible! It's scary! It's... it's... Your reflection. That doesn't make it any less frightening, Bertie. Ah, oh, you big purple baby. I'll prove to you there's no such thing as monsters. Here, monster! Come out, come out, wherever you are! If monsters were real and not fantasy I wonder if I'd like them and if they'd like me. Oh, how would it feel if monsters were real? If monsters were real, I'd stay in my bed. If you see one, don't tell me till Ronald it's there. They might be really nice and good company. They might be our friends. Uh, I disagree. If monsters were real and not fantasy, I wonder if I'd like them and if they'd like me. Oh, how would it feel if monsters were real? Monsters aren't real. It's just a old story. But if they were real, they'd be big and gory. Oh, would they have tails? Would they eat snails? Would they sit in chairs? Oh, really, who cares? If monsters were real and not fantasy, I wonder if I'd like them and if they'd like me. Oh, how would it feel if monsters were real? Uh, look! There it is! <laughs> Are you okay, Grimace? Uh, uh, I think so. Uh, thanks, Ronald. Uh, you too, Ronald. Um... 
Oh boy, that was one scary monster. You know, Hamburglar, just because it wasn't the monster this time doesn't mean he's not lurking down there somewhere. He could be watching us at this very moment. Well, if he is, he's probably bored stiff. Let's get moving. Hammy's right. It looks like this is one mystery we're going to have to dive into a little later. <laughs> And welcome to McDonald Land Loch. <laughs> it's a dog thing. Cousin Sunday, please introduce me to your good friends. I've heard so much about them. Well, uh, this is Ronald. Well, blow me killed right over me head. It's just the way I imagined him. Hi, Scotty. And that's Hamburglar, Grimace, Birdie. And the McNuggets. Any friend of Sunday's is a friend of mine. <laughs> now, allow me to introduce the great artist, Styles, and his most able assistant, Pip. <coughs> I'm Styles. <laughs> and I'm Pip. Howdy do to you. And you. And you. How is you? Sunday. I've commissioned them to make a statue of our great, great, great grandfather. Pleased to meet you both. You know, I'd love to sit down and talk with you about art. Uh, who's art? Ah, well, enough chit chat. Time for us to get back to work. Can I see the work in progress? Sure. No. I'd rather unveil our little project when it's operational. Or, um, <laughs> complete. Oh, I get it. You want it to be a surprise. <laughs> yeah, you can say that. A surprise. <laughs> Ow! Personally, I don't like surprises. <laughs> Me neither. Let's trail them. Well, come along. Let me show you to your pooty parlors. <laughs> Wow, Scotty, you have quite a collection of artwork. Ooh, the Mona Lassa Opso. I like this one. I've never seen a dog smile like that before. Tis one of my favorites. And this is where the statue of our great, great, great grandfathers will go. Did you know he was considered the very first dog to bark at the monster of McDonald Law? Monster? As in the monster? So you believe the stories? Oh, they're more than just stories. Come along. Your rooms are right down here. That's the sound of the boys hard at work. It goes on to the wee hours of the morning. I guess you get used to the noise after a while. No! I've had a splitting headache since they started. Actually, it's not nearly as bad as the headache I got from Muffy McGinty's bagpipe playing. creation is coming along beautifully. By the time we're finished with it, everyone will believe we found a monster of McDonald and Loch. <laughs> and that means lots of money, right? <laughs> oh, yes. Styles, <laughs> uh, <laughs> do not interrupt me while I'm laughing maniacally. We've talked about this. Sorry. The citizens of this town will pay a fortune for the capture of that monster. The poor little dears won't feel safe until he's all locked up. 
So, we're going to capture our own monster and get the reward. Do not interrupt me while I'm rubbing my hands together conspiratorially. But wait, what if they find out it's not the real monster? That should take these mutts a few days. By then, we'll be long gone. Now get over here and help me attach the neck. Oh, all right. Oh, <laughs> ow, ow. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Something smells fishy around here. <laughs> I see London, I see France, I see Hamburglar's underpants. <laughs> What's the screaming? Oh, I'd be screaming too if my backside was bursting out of me knickers. You'd best check your closet for another set of clothes. Oh, don't look, don't look, don't look. Sounds like the time my Aunt Fritzy got her tail caught in the doggy door. Oh, hey, I didn't know Hamburglar had a sister. Nice legs, Pammy. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's a refreshing alternative to the confines of traditional men's trousers. It's the appropriate dress around these parts. <laughs> We're on the trail of a mystery. Oh, mythical monster, where can you be? Monster Watch. We're gonna find him. Monster Watch. I think I spy him. Monster Watch. And it's so exciting. exciting. We're on a Monster Watch. We're looking high. I'm looking low. If I were a monster, that's where I'd go. Monster Watch! We're gonna find him. Monster Watch! I think I'll spy him. Monster Watch! It's, it's so exciting! We're on a Monster Watch! Dear Mr. Monster, come on round. Hope you won't mind being found. Monster Watch, we're gonna find him. Monster Watch, I think I spy him. Monster Watch, it's so exciting. We're on a Monster Watch. Maybe Hammy's right. Maybe there isn't one after all. Don't give up so easily, Birdie. Hey, has anyone seen Grimace? Uh, here, monster! Uh, Yahoo! Come to your pal Grimace! Oh, what am I doing? Uh, I don't want to meet a monster! And, uh, never mind! Ah, let's have to... Below! Don't eat me! Don't eat me! Oh, uh, hi. You're not one of those fierce wild lambs, are you? <coughs> uh, I'm not your mommy. See? I'm a grimace. <coughs> uh, there's been a mix up. I'm not anybody's mommy. I don't think. I'll be going now. <laughs> Where would I go if I were a monster? <sighs> What's that on that rock? Ow! You got my hair. Painful. Not as bad as a paper cut, but it hurts! <gasps> you must be the monster on McDonald's land. Look! Uh, why would you say that? Oh, you're too small to be a whale, too big to be a guppy. Would you believe I'm a whoppy? Gabriel. Then is a whale out of the question? Thought so. All right, you got me. I'm the monster of McDonald's Unlocked. 
Hey, aren't you scared? I did mention I'm the monster. Scared? Oh, are you kidding? This is the most exciting thing that's ever happened to me. Oh, I just can't wait to tell my friends about you. Especially Hamburglar. Won't he be surprised? Oh, but you can't tell anyone. Please. It's not safe. The townspeople want to capture me. Oh, why would they want to do that to a nice whoopie like you? Because they're afraid of me. They're afraid of you because they don't know you. But I'm a monster, and people don't like monsters. Well, I like you, and so will my friends. I can't wait to see Hamburglar's face. No, you can't tell anyone about me. But if a ha Hamburglar... That's the only way I'll be safe. Do you promise you'll keep my secret? Oh. <sighs> I'm not very good at keeping secrets. But, okay, I promise. Cross my heart and hope to fly. Your secret is safe with me. Way to go, Birdie. Help! Help! Somebody! Uh-oh, that sounds like Grimace. Oh, gotta go. I think somebody's in trouble. I hope I get to see you again. Hey! You never told me your name. It's Birdie. Uh, what's yours? Simon. Bye-bye, Birdie. And don't forget, I'm your little secret. No one knows about me. Why am I yelling? I won't forget, Simon. Bye-bye. Hello, Birdie. Where you been? Let me guess, you found the monster. <laughs> oh, for your information, that is exactly what didn't happen. Monsters are just make believe. But little lambs are for real. <laughs> Remember me? Don't worry, Grimace. Help has arrived. Hey guys, I think your mom's back that away. <sighs> Here's one clever red-haired fella. But what about me, Ronald? I'm uh, a million feet in the air. There's one clever red-haired fella. Well done, Ronald. Yeah, thanks. Now I'm all clean on the inside. <laughs> Great. Now, what do you say we all check out the festival? Oh, good, good, idea. Let's go. good idea. Good <laughs> idea. Hey! We... <laughs> we... We did it! It's really quite magnificent, isn't it? My robotic brainchild will easily pass for the monster. <laughs> We're gonna be rich! <laughs> Pip filthy rich! <laughs> Hurry! 
<laughs> Quick, uh, wrestle the wild creature to the ground while I uh, observe and make notations. <laughs> until the ride has come to a complete stop. Exit to your left. Looks like the party's over. Let's go. Hey, Styles! I think I've tamed the mighty beast. <laughs> him on the wall, pumpkin. Boy, for a monster who doesn't exist, he sure is the talk of the town. Oh, the mighty monster of our dear lock has a message that's gonna rock. It's the monster, monster dance. You needn't know much in advance. Everyone do the monster dance. Straighten your arms and stand up tall. Step up high and have a ball. Form a line now, hand in hand. Step in time now to the band. Dance the monster, monster. Don't you think maybe it's time? 
time we ask the real monster to give us a hand? What real monster? Th th there is no real monster. You're not breaking any secrets, Bertie. I saw you talking to him. Dad? Ronald McDonald, why didn't you say something? I know how to keep a secret, too. Come on. Oh, boy. Now, I'm seeing double. Uh, and I'm seeing two of them. Simon, look out! McNugget Brothers. Of course it's them! Officers! <gasps> it was all his idea! He's the brains of the outfit! Oh, you're just being nice. He helped a lot, too. <clears throat> Thanks for the confession. Hip, I believe this warrants a sternly worded footnote in my personal journal. Excuse me! May I have your attention, please? It's my pleasure to introduce, live, in person, Simon, the monster of McDonald Land Lock, the town hero! Kind, but I like to think of myself as a whoppy. Surprise you was talking about. Well, Scotty, we had one monster of a time. And for a going away gift, I made this. <gasps> Ronald, you shouldn't have. You're right. Hey, next time you're in the neighborhood, stop by and say hi. Will do, my friend. Will do. <laughs> I'm sure gonna miss you. Oh, thanks. Let's get a move on. Hi, Sunday. Thanks for dropping by. <laughs> Here we go. Hey, I think something's wrong with the boat. I mean, besides its personality. You're darn right, something's wrong. Oh, I got moisture in my blank shaft. So, what are we supposed to do now? Got me. In times like these, you need a friend. Hi, guys. Need a lift? <gasps> wow! Whoa. 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 Hey, Simon, that's using your head. Anything for my pal, Birdie. Well, Birdie, I gotta hand it to you. You kept a pretty big secret. At least this time, no one can say a little Birdie told me. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Bet you never thought you'd see a monster in McDonald Land Lock, let alone two. One thing's for sure. For a bird who loves to gossip, Birdie can always be counted on to do the right thing. Let's not forget the chew bone incident. Oh, Sunday. There's always something fun and unusual going on with my friends. Monster! Monster? Oh, you mean Bernie. He's not a monster. He's the window cleaner. Until next time, this is your very own clown, Ronald McDonald, hoping I see you live and in person at McDonald's. Hey.
Hey, if you thought McDonald Land Lock was fun, watch for an even wackier adventure coming soon. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Remember when Ronald McDonald had a very special birthday surprise in Birthday World? Or the adventure Have Time Will Travel, when the gang traveled through the ages in an amazing time machine? Solving mysteries and making new friends is all in a day's fun for Ronald, as you just saw in The Monstero McDonald Land Lock. So keep watching. There's another wacky adventure coming soon.